There are millions of people, all over the world, with Irish heritage. Many dream of becoming Irish citizens as a way to reconnect with their ancestry. This can be done automatically if they have an Irish parent, and it is also relatively straightforward if they have an Irish grandparent. If a person has an Irish spouse or civil partner, they could also become an Irish citizen after they have lived in Ireland for a certain amount of time. We have another video on this. Check the link in the description to find out more. If you don't have an Irish parent, grandparent, spouse, or civil partner, don't give up hope just yet. You can still become an Irish citizen through naturalization, which is the process whereby a foreign national, living in Ireland, may apply to become an Irish citizen. The Minister for Justice and Equality decides on all applications to become a naturalized Irish citizen. Applicants must use the current versions of the application forms on the Innis website. The application fee is currently 175 euros. The link to the form is in the description. If you are living in Ireland and applying for naturalization, you must be registered with the Department of Employment Affairs and Social Protection for a Public Services card. The Citizens Information website lists the following requirements for becoming an Irish citizen through naturalization. You must be 18 years or older. Unless you are married or a minor born in the state from January 1, 2005. You must be of good character. The Garda Sharharna, Ireland's National Police, will be asked to provide a report about your background. Any criminal record or ongoing proceedings will be taken into consideration by the Minister for Justice and Equality in deciding whether or not to grant naturalization. Details of any proceedings, criminal or civil, in the state or elsewhere, should be disclosed in the application form. You must have had a period of 365 days, one year, continuous reckonable residence in Ireland, immediately before the date of your application for naturalization. And, during the eight years preceding that, have had a total reckonable residence in the state, amounting to 1,460 days, or four years. Altogether you must have five years reckonable residence out of the last nine years. Don't forget to add one day for any period which includes February 29th. You must intend, in good faith, to continue to reside in Ireland after naturalization and make a declaration of fidelity to the nation and loyalty to the state. You must undertake to observe the laws of the state and respect its democratic values. See the description for more details. Applicants will be expected to be supporting themselves and their dependents while living in Ireland. There could be cases where a person who does not meet these criteria could still be granted Irish citizenship. The Minister for Justice and Equality has the power to waive one or more of the conditions for naturalization under certain circumstances. For more information visit the Citizens Information website by following the link in the description. And take a look at our other videos on gaining Irish citizenship by following the links in the description for more information. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you'll be among the first to see our videos as soon as we post them each week.